Hi guys, welcome back to another update. So just thought I'd show you our profile here. How we're looking population wise, it's looking quite nice. Uh, if we head over to the general tab now, I think the last one I made was at day 37. Now we're at day 43. Uh, if we go down, rank 20 in population. We've been going up and down between about 20 and 30 recently for the past couple of days. Um, resource rank, we've bumped right up to rank 5 now. And uh, alliance, we're fourth in the alliance, so, but we're slowly catching people up. Um, military, not looking that great. And then culture points, we're ranked 19th per day and 16th so far, which is quite nice. Uh, if we go into the capital now, we have all level 15s and we started on level 16s already. Um, over here, infrastructure rise, it's mainly granaries now, just so we don't max out, so we can actually get some sleep. So we're just alternating between getting crop lands up and then getting resources for parties. Uh, down zero one one here is maxed out. We're not actually raiding people. We're just sending fake attacks to an alliance who's got a load of multi accounts and is harassing some of our members. Um, o2 here, we've maxed this out and we've got a 50% oasis. So we're now on 5,800 crop an hour. So that's looking quite nice. Um, zero three, 3 which is a hammer village. Today we um, got everything to 8 and we've just golded all of these up recently. Um, I'm not usually a massive fan of using gold on feeders but we we're falling behind a little bit so we just burnt a little bit uh, we've got all of the resource ones going we've got flour mill going to five and then we're going to get the bakery and probably all the wheats to level 10 tomorrow uh, we settled 04 as well this we've just been simming up normally we've been sending a lot of resources from the capital haven't gold in anything yet our plan is to get everything up to level eight gold one of each to level 10 build everything to level nine and then gold them all to level 10 and we're going to get an oasis here as well. We've decided to settle it just next to our capital. Take this wood oasis here. And then zero 03, we're going to end up taking the iron oasis. But we're going to drop it later on because it's our hammer village. We don't want to get wheat scouted. So we're going to take it for now. And then once we start building the hammer, we're going to take it back probably with zero 01 or maybe zero 04. Uh, yeah, probably zero 04. Oh, no, we'll probably do it with zero 01 because there's no point doing it here. Um, the spawn as well still maxed out um we've just gotten the embassy and academy to 20 to get some culture points got the trade office a little bit uh, if we go over to the overview here troop wise we built some eis in the cap just to help clear oasis got these from an adventure and we've just been building a bit of defense and parking them in our alliance members because uh, they need some standing because of where they are um so yeah that's about it for now Counts looking quite nice um, oh, actually, go back onto this tab. Uh, if we go into culture points, we've got grand parties here, 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 and here. And then we're going to start getting them up in 03 as well. And we're just absolutely smashing villages. I think two more days and we'll get village five coming out. So, yeah, we're going really nicely with that. Um, usually, I like to settle quite inwards where all the main players are. And I like to do a lot of chiefing, a lot of attacking. But... I never, uh, it's been about four or five years now since I've made a World Wonder Killer hammer, so I thought I might as well go for another one. Um, as you can see, 66,000 production here. It's absolutely insane. It's just going up with all these level 16s. Uh, we're hoping to get these done by the end of the week or so, and then we'll start on getting level 17s. So I'll probably make an update in about a week or so. I've got a couple of days off, then working, and probably on my first day off, I'll make another video. So that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one guys and welcome back to another update um it's currently day 51 of the server just turned um we're ranked 21 in population we've dropped down to rank six per day in resources uh defense and offense still quite low and culture points 19 per day and 14th so far so our capital in the last couple of days we've already got up gotten half to level 17 we've got one more going when our granary max is out um we've just got a lot of um, warehouses and granaries what we're going to do is we're getting the stable to 20 going to build the horse drinking trough and then destroy the stable because we need it in here for parking and such um zero one as well because we want to go for level 19s before artifacts so we're building up lots of storage because we're going to have to destroy granaries in the cap ship the wheat to here npc the wheat here and then send it back so we're trying to get up about seven granaries and four warehouses or so so we're just doing that over the next couple of days. Uh, O2 is just simmed out and sending resources to zero zero. Um, in here, we started building our catapults. Uh, we've just got scouts coming in. 
Uh, we're at 208 so far. We have a level 20 workshop and we haven't stopped queuing since f two days ago now. Um, 04, we've just finished maxing out. We're just getting infrastructure up a little bit. Um, 05 is uh, going a bit slow. We're not using any gold in this one. We're just getting all to all to eights now and then we'll get one of each to ten to get the resource buildings uh, 06 we settled this morning just starting on levels fours here um, so just for a quick overview troop wise we've got 208 catapults uh, we're building up scouts in the cap and our spawn uh, we've got about 550 praetorians we're going to be building more as well and uh, if we go to culture points we have great parties in all of these villages um, this is the first World Wonder win server. Well, we're trying for a World Wonder win. It's the first one I've done in a long time. Um, I'm getting a bit tired of simming, but luckily my jewel enjoys it. Um, I usually never go this far out. This is the first time I've actually settled outside of the main area. And uh, If you look at this, we've got 880,000 crop an hour, and that's just going to keep going up because we're going to do 17s, uh, then level 18s, then hopefully 19s. And... Um, what I was going to show you here, we've got this Alliance DT. They're a bunch of multi-accounts for one of the other alliances, and they're just here to um, try and mess with our alliance. So this guy here, what he did is these two aces here, he took off the the capital of our player over here. So it's meant to have 125%, but this guy took these two aces and went into vacation mode for three weeks. So they're just doing stuff like that. They're trying to attack players in our alliance so we're um, trying to well all of them are in vacation mode at the moment so we were pushing people for catapults I might have some attacks somewhere I can find but none of them are killing troops they're just catapulting villas um, if I get any good reports over the discord I'll show them in the next video and put them in so um, probably make the update when we started level 18 hi guys and welcome back to another update it's day 58 so I believe a week since the last one I made uh, we've gone up to rank 17 in population, 5 per day in resources again, uh, so far 7 as well, so we've beaten all of the raiders, well a lot of the raiders with all the uh, resources we make, um, offence still looking quite low, defence quite low, and culture points we're up to 14th per day and 14th so far, so just a quick look over of our accounts, we're ranked 17 in pop and we've gone and got some new aces as well because we were doing some calculations and the payback time for a second oasis was something like 18 days which is a lot better than the level 18s we're going for so we thought we might as well uh, so if I start off with our capital in the past seven days we've got an all to level 17 and we've got our fifth level 18 going up it's looking quite nice here um, we're preparing for level 19s uh, we made a mistake and we can't actually have the horse drinking trough We've got to take down um, all the granaries apart from free and build warehouses to afford level 19. So it's just going to be all warehouses, free granaries, level 20 trade office. And what we're doing with zero 01 is the uh, storage is coming on really quite nicely. So we've got one, two, three, four, five granaries, six granaries, sorry. And we're going to build seven and eight. And we're going to have free warehouses. And we're going to ship all of our wheat to here, NPC it, and then ship it back over to our capital. Um, the reason we've got culture points so high is because we've been getting level 20 academy and embassies in all of our other villages. Um, three, four are all maxed out, five, two more wheats to get and then we'll be finished with that, getting the marketplace up as well to send the resources away. Uh, zero, six, we've got one of each to ten and we're slowly getting everything up, started on a few level nines. Um, but most importantly we're getting these buildings up and we've started on getting a town hall there and we're going to be probably starting starting grand parties in the next two three days um settled another village here it's coming up slowly we're already already a couple of days away from settling our next one um so we're really getting ahead on the simming ah and um zero three we're starting to get the barracks and stable to 20 and we'll build the the greats down here um the um Catapult queue still hasn't stopped. In an hour or so's time, we're actually getting the next alliance bonus unlocked, so we're going to wait and queue these 37 then. Um, so if we go to a quick overview, the troops here, we now have 738 catapults, which is really nice. We're looking about getting 4k 
for artifacts and then we're going to start building troops in the greats and the normals probably about day 80 or so once we finish level 19s and um, if I go back onto the overview uh, so we've had to stop partying in our cap and we're still getting great parties in all these villages this one will be quite soon tomorrow we're going to be looking at getting all these ones back for great parties and oh yeah and spawn troops still not really much we need to get more scouts in our crown and start building more praetorians uh, that's it for the next update I'll probably probably do another update once we finish level 18 to start on 19s to show you how we look I'll see you in the next one.